We're cutting a lot of hair off of Chris's head today. We're going from this long layered haircut that you may have seen in a previous video. If you didn't, go back and check it out. But we're going to uh, like shoulder length, just, just above shoulder length layered haircut that he can brush back, brush to the sides, tuck over the ears. Um, and it's still long enough to put up into a little bun if he wants to. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I think through setting the length for this haircut, how I think through the cut, I'm gonna show you how I actually do cut it, and then I'm gonna show you how I style it, and a couple of tips I have for finishing this haircut off uh, really nicely. First thing we need to do is get it ultra saturated. We want the hair soaking wet to cut it. And I'm starting off with this radial parting. Um, the back of the head is gonna be where most of the layers happen. It's where the hair's thickest. So I'm just sectioning off the back from the sides with this radial parting. I'm starting with this section right at the occipital. I'm pinning both sides up just so I have more control over the hair uh, before we set a perimeter. With this haircut, I chose to start with the perimeter length. This is so that we just have a nice strong length to work off of so that we know where we want our layers to fall. I'm pulling a pretty light tension on the hair and I'm using a razor to cut this perimeter because we want this perimeter to have a lot of soft movement. We don't want it to be a super harsh line. So I'm using these like longer strokes of the razor and what that does is it, it breaks up all the hair and uh, just lets it lay a little bit more staggered. So now we need to pull another section down. I can see that it was gonna be too thick to try and pull all of that down and cut the line. So we're gonna work up in sections. Now we're just connecting that perimeter line uh, with the razor. And you know, let's think about what if we just stopped here. If we just stopped here, we'd have, uh, we'd have a pretty heavy haircut. Um, this would fall pretty flat. You know, there wouldn't be much wave in it. There wouldn't be much movement in it. You know, it's an option, but it would just be a really heavy bob. And that's not really what Chris is going for. So now we can pull those final pieces down and connect those to the perimeter. If you want to see haircutting tutorials we do online, but that are at a regular pace that are way more in depth, uh, head to our site, click on education and join the wait list. We're going to be launching enrollment soon for our online education platform. Now that we've completed the back, we're just pulling down some of the side to create this perimeter along the sides. This is such a visual process. I'm, uh, I'm just pulling a guide from the back and I'm assessing where I want this to fall. And then with each progressive section, I'm just matching it to the line. Now we're just gonna repeat the process on side two. Okay, let's talk about how we're doing the layers in the back. I'm pulling up a piece from the bottom to see exactly where my perimeter is. And that's gonna be my guide for the layers through the back. I'm gonna take a good bit of weight out of here. So I'm letting that tiniest bit of perimeter fall and then I'm working a square cutting line straight up. So my horizontal shape is actually gonna be round. So as we start working around the head, I'm pulling out right in the center of each of those sections because we don't want to maintain too much weight in the corners here. He has a ton of hair, so we want this to be a little bit more even all the way around. So as you can see here, I'm working these vertical sections, pulling out a nice clean line, but I'm coming straight off the head so that the back gets a ton of a layering treatment um, just to get a lot more movement back here. Now, we don't really need to do this much to the sides, so you'll see how we do that as we go to the top. Now we're going to connect the top to the back, and this is to remove some weight from the center. And this is gonna take out all of the weight we need on the sides too. So I'm actually not gonna use any panels on the sides. So I'm starting with a central profile guide, working it pretty square. Um, it rounds a little bit towards the back. As you can see here from this side view, I'm pulling up to a stationary guide that's sort of my last section on the side of the head. Um, this is so that it rounds a little bit and takes out a little bit more weight than if we were making a square shape. I'm cutting this hair to be really symmetrical so that he can, you know, kind of toss it either way or just brush it straight back. If we were going to have it laying only to one side, we may not work in this method. Now I'm just using the scissors to clean up around the sideburns. I typically like to have all hair that's not going to tuck behind the ear cleaned up a bit. This just gives it a really sharp feel. I'm using the razor here to make some face framing layers. We want just this tiniest bit of face framing here just so it adds a little bit more of an interesting shape around the face. Let's get into styling. I'm going to use my blow dryer just to have everything going back and away from the face. Whichever way he decides to wear his hair, it's all going to be swept back or maybe back into one side. So I'm using the blow dryer on a fairly high speed just to get all of this going straight back, getting a little bit of volume towards the front, uh, just so it has a little bit of lift around his face. Now in the back, I want to have a little bit more wave. So I'm using my diffuser. I've clipped all of this back so it's going to stay in that backward motion. Now here you can see I'm using my razor just visually, just to kind of clean up the perimeter, clean up the final look. The only product I would use here is just like a light 
styling cream. Um, we really don't want anything too heavy here. This is a very natural look. This is a fantastic look for if your client wants something pretty low maintenance. They may just want to wash it, throw in a little bit of a styling cream and walk out the door. And there we go. So you can see it's super easy to tuck behind the ear, lays back really nicely, but it's not like a heavy bob. We got one more video with Chris where we take him from this length to very short. Stay tuned for that one, it'll be dropping soon.